I just want to uh, thank all of the members of the town board. Uh, there's actually a quorum here. This is an open meeting, so uh, uh, everybody is here. I want to thank them, first of all, for the leadership they've shown on a bipartisan basis with regard to the college, not just today, but through the years. And uh, here's how I know things are changing at the college. I mentioned this to Ann Wall. Uh, when I was on this campus a couple of years ago and I saw the, uh, the police officers here, I was afraid I was going to be arrested. And today when I came on the campus, they actually had a parking space for me. So uh, I, I know things are headed in the right direction. And uh, suffice it to say that uh, over the last few years, there have been incredible uh, highs and incredible lows with regard to this campus. Certainly when... Uh, LIU announced that they were going to close the campus and then an incredible high when the state university through Senator Laval's leadership uh, we were able to acquire the campus and then the loss of the, stain of the sustainability program but through the years we've the, this last few years we've kept the pilot light on and the major reason why we've been able to do that and the one constant through all of the ups and the downs has been the support of this community uh, and a lot of you are representing those groups here today, uh, the support of the community to ensure that there would continue to be a four-year residential college at Southampton. And what we're here to talk about today and what the town uh, officials are here to talk about today is a step forward. We're, I think we're moving away from when just trying to keep the pilot light lit here to a period where you're going to see over the next 12 months just positive announcement after positive announcement of the growth of programs and things that are happening at this college. And I just want to, at the outset, just say thank you uh, to all of you here today. Uh, Bob Reeves, who is the guy who is the keeper of the pilot light over the last couple of years, and has helped to now grow uh, what's going on at this campus. Uh, it's great to have uh, uh, Bob, uh, uh, Robert from Southampton Hospital here and the business community and the wall. Uh, the Shinnecock Indian Nation represented here today. Save the College, numerous community groups all here because of the love and the dedication that we've had to this college. And as I said, uh, the proposal that I think is uh, being announced today by the town that they're putting forward is something that, that demonstrates that commitment to this campus and is really the start of something really, really important of, of what's going to happen here in the future. Uh, at this point, I'm going to turn it over to Senator Laval to say a few words, and I, and I hope that he'll talk about some of the things that are being worked on that are, that are either or have started already or uh, you know, are certainly in, in, in uh, the pipeline for things to happen. So, Senator?